everybody. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I'm Megan from Education Possible, and this is Mariana. She's helping me today. We're doing a science experiment. Book Shark gives us a big box full of all this great science stuff, so you don't have to go out and search for all the little parts to make all these science, do all these science experiments. We love science experiments in this house. So, that's why we love this uh, this curriculum that we've been using. It's all about all these the simple experiments, these simple machines, all these great inventors, the things that they invented. So today, we're gonna make water move uphill without using electricity. We're gonna build an Archimedes screw. <laughs> so Archimedes is said to have been the inventor of this screw. People aren't really sure whether that's true. He was definitely in Egypt at the time. He was a famous um, scientist, mathematician, born in Italy, but he was studying in Egypt, and that is where it we are. No, we are. It is known to have been used in Egypt. Think of the Nile. So you had all you had the river, and then you had all of these plains that they were trying to irrigate. They had no idea how to do it. So the Archimedes screw was actually invented so that you could move water from a low-lying area to a high-lying area so that they could irrigate their um, fields. Fields. So, <laughs> like I said, in our kit, we got everything that we need, except for we added some rubber bands to make it a little bit easier. So we're gonna combine two simple machines today. We're gonna combine a plane and a cylinder, and we're gonna make this Archimedes screw. So you start with rubber tubing, about three and a half feet, a PVC pipe, yeah. about a uh, foot. <laughs> so how do you build it? You put the middle of the tubing in the middle of the PVC pipe, and you can either tape it down or just hold it down. And from there, you're going to wrap it upwards. And once you get to the top, you're going to tie it off with a rubber band. Oops. <laughs> you might want to cut it down a little bit. It's a little bit hard to go around it. All right, so we can keep it in place. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side, wrapping it around. <laughs> That's why you need two people sometimes. And tying it off with a rubber band on this side. So, we're not going to use it like that. We actually <laughs> built one to make it a little bit sturdier. So, a couple of things you want to look out for. So, you can see we tied them off with a rubber band, the two ends. We want about an inch on each end because we need to be able to collect water and displace water. We added some hot glue. Hot glue. So you want your tubing to be about equidistant. You want it so that it will move easily through the tubes because if it's flat, it won't push up. It won't move. And so once we kind of set ours in place with the rubber bands, we went back through and hot glued it down so that it would be set and it won't move. All right, then you're ready to start your experiment. What you need is you need your Archimedes screw. So we've done a cylinder on the outside. You can have it on the inside, um, but we want to be able to see the water move. Yeah. We have a bowl with some water in it, and then an empty bowl, and we have some books because you need to make a plane, an angle for it to move from lower to higher. And what I would recommend is start with non-colored water because you need your tubing on the bottom that's gonna sit in the water to come out of the water every time you turn the screw. So you wanna make sure you have enough water in there and not too much. Once you have this, the water level set, color it so that you can see it moving um, up the tube. We've colored ours purple. Yeah. So <laughs> then what are we gonna do? Are you gonna put it in the water, leaning it up against the top bowl? We're going to try to zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Yeah. And just turn it around, making sure the bottom of your tubing comes out of the water each time so that you get air in it. You can see it coming up the tube. Is it going? Oops. Oh, we put the wrong end in the tube. We put the wrong end in the water. So you have to make sure you have the right <laughs> end in the water because if you have too much, it won't collect, um, it'll collect too much air. So you can see it moving all the way up now. That's faster. Now it's faster. <laughs> Oops. Part of science. That's what we love about it. 
So as it comes up to the top, it's going to come out into your empty bowl. So how it's working is this is actually a positive displacement pump. Water is going to move from, um, from the uh, body of water that you have into the tube and kind of into a little um, chamber. Then some air is going to come in and as you turn it, more water, that water is going to move up to the next chamber and more water is going to come into that first chamber and it's going to constantly be moving and pushing itself up. You have water, air, water, air, water, air, and it's going to work its way um, up. She's pushing the water all the way out. out so that it could come all the way up. Again. So. Just stopped. And we have that sometimes. But you can see the water's moving its way up to the, up the tube. So you can also put a mark um, in the front one end of the tube, um, and then as it turns, you know that's one full turn of the screw so that you know that it's come around one full cycle because that's some of the, something that you can check out as you're doing this experiment how many times does it take for a rotation for it to come up the whole tube all right so we come back up come in a little all right so does the did, what does the direction make a difference yes why because if you spin it the other way then the water will just fall out you won't scoop up the water all right, so this is something from ancient Egypt. Do you think we still use it today? Yes. Really? Yes. We do. <laughs> because it's at Disney Springs. It is at Disney Springs. That's right. We're always at Disney, and they do have one at Disney Springs. That's the name. They got Disney Springs, so there's a spring, and you can actually uh, turn the, the screw for that. Um, they're not all used by hand anymore. We have wind power, solar power, water power, electric power that we can use to turn them, but they're used in water irrigation systems. They're actually used in amusement parks to move water in some of the rides. They are used in snow blowers and they're used in chocolate fountains. I know it <laughs> takes the heated chocolate up through the system and brings it uh, tumbling down over all the tears. So I didn't realize that until we were talking about this one. All right, so there are a couple issues you can run into and that's part of science and that's what you love about it. So it seems like a very simple experiment, but you can make it more challenging for your middle schoolers or even your lower grade high schoolers. That's all in the questions and in the experimentation. So you set a whole bunch of hy hypotheses. What's gonna happen as you build this? What can go wrong? One of the things that they can test is level of water. What happens if you have more water in the bowl? And we learned that, what happens? It didn't come up because it couldn't get the air. You need the air for it to yeah. move. Turning it the wrong direction, as we learned. Um, the length of your tubing, the length of your cylinder, the PVC pipe, the and height. the height, so the angle, measure the angle, and then as you change the angle, sometimes it's too, um, it's too high for the length of your Archimedes screw. You actually have to make it uh, bigger yes. or smaller. And so a lot of it depends on the angle. And not only can you ask all these questions, but you can do a lab report. Yeah, they're always great for middle schoolers and high schoolers. So thanks for watching, and we'll do another one real soon yeah. so you can see all about book sharks science experiments thanks bye, bye.